Hello, my name is Mr Lockhart and I'm the line manager for Digital IT. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome Mr Clifford to the Academy who will be joining us after Easter. He's now going to tell you a little bit more about the Digital IT course. Hello, my name is Mr Cliffman and I'm the new head of ICT and Computer Science. And what I want to talk to you about today is the Digital IT qualification that we offer at GCSE. Now, Digital IT focuses on a completely different set of skills than Computer Science. It focuses more on the review and development of different solutions for problems. Now, these solutions might focus on the development of user interfaces for mobile apps or software to the analysis and trend recognition of information and data, and also the exploration of how IT is used within the modern world. Now, as we all know, IT is quite a modern changing landscape that changes on a daily, if not weekly basis. And this course is going to allow students to be able to explore that and see how these developments have been made and what's involved within them. What qualities do you need to be successful in digital IT? Now, the skills you need in this case is a strong skill set and enthusiasm for information technology. And also looking at how to be able to use different pieces of software. Strong skills within them, such as Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and also different pieces of software for developing mobile apps and user interfaces is also recommended. We also need to have a strong interest in information technology and how it is actually developing within the modern world and the different risks that are actually related with it. Now, the course itself is assessed in three different parts. There is unit one and unit two, which are both coursework elements, and there's unit three, which is an exam. Now, the coursework elements are worth 30% each, whereas the exam is worth 40%. Now, the two coursework elements focus on user interface review and design, as well as development, and also the collecting, presenting, and interpreting of data. Now, when we look at exploring user interfaces, you're gonna be involved in actually looking at how user interfaces have been developed so far, what key skills are actually needed in order to develop them. And you're also gonna develop a user interface and manage your project yourself and learn about the different ways that this can actually be done. When it comes down to collecting, presenting, and interpreting data, you'll explore how data impacts individuals and organizations draw conclusions and make rec recommendations on data intelligence, and develop a dashboard using data manipulation tools. These are all key skills that are actually used within industry and are highly important. And then there is unit three, which is the exam element. You're gonna explore how modern technology is evolving, looking mainly at information technology and how it impacts our day-to-day -day lives. You're gonna consider legal ethical issues in data and information sharing, focusing once again on that cybersecurity element. And you're going to understand what cybersecurity is and how to safeguard against issues that are classified as cybersecurity issues. All of these elements put together, all these different units, are going to allow you to develop a well-rounded knowledge when it comes down to digital IT and its applications. So what does digital IT lead on to? It leads on to such a wider kind of skill set being developed within students. This could be actually looking at data management, data analysis, even more creative roles such as mobile app development, website design, and focusing on marketing skills and also the cybersecurity element, which can lead to actually being able to take IT further into an A-level situation and also degree or an apprenticeship if needs be. Now, students wishing to continue their IT studies will be able to increase their own knowledge through the use of A-level or apprenticeship, okay? And it actually allows for them to gain these practical experiences that they'll need for future life. 